Organize your Google Drive. Most likely you have never organized properly your Google Drive in a way that would make it easy for you to find all of your information. A lot of the times we'll just add, copy, move files around and we got no idea where anything is and the only way to do it is to search for it in your search bar. Well today we're going to try to organize our Google Drive for the school year. Now there are multiple ways to organize it. You don't have to organize it this way. Uh, I just find it easier for me to do this. So every year when I organize my Google Drive, first thing I do is I create a new folder. To create a new folder, in the left hand section over here you have a new. You're going to hit new. You're going to hit new folder. And we're going to call this folder 2023-2024. I actually like to do it shorter. I just do 23-24. So first thing I do is I create a folder. I give it uh, a year uh, just so that I know that, you know, if I created something specifically last year, the year before, or, you know, five, six years ago, I just, I can do that how I want. Um, what you can also do is if you want to right click <clears throat> on the actual folder, you can actually change some of the parameters on it, um, colors. So if it's very important specifically because it's this year, red usually for me just kind of sticks out it's you know important all right so first thing we did is we created a new folder and i have lots of files i created these files for professional development we're going to try to organize these as much as we can in this school folder okay so first things first we created a new folder which is 2023 2024 next thing i want to do is organize inside of this folder so subfolders so double click inside of this folder you just created 2023 2024 it should bring you to a brand new section here. What you're going to have in here is all of your information from 2023 and 2024. So we're going to try to separate everything we can into folders. Try not to leave any wild documents out in the open. Try to have them in specific folders so we can do that. Okay, so first things first, um, you know, you're getting your new class. So maybe you want to do your create a new folder and call it class roster. So whenever uh, the principal or the secretary might share the class roster with you, you can take that file and post it right into here. Next thing with that, um, allergies. So it's very important that we know our students' allergies. We create a folder called allergies. Let's also give some of these colors. So all I'm doing is clicking on this. If you have, um, sorry. If you have a Windows keyboard or a Mac keyboard, you can click Control and click or a Chromebook and it will allow you to do this as well. So you can Control and click or right click if you have a mouse. And then we're going to go to Organize and we're going to give this a different color. I'm try to give everything a different color as we go down the line. So orange. Uh, what else we have? We have. Um, let's say what class you're specifically teaching I'm teaching a math class or maybe you are in all-inclusive so you got math science English history reading what colors next okay so let's do that we'll do math what's another class we teach we also teach science what else do we teach um, new folder sorry let's do reading now if you teach multiple classes what I would recommend is not to separate them like this. Actually create a folder and call your folder classes. This way you know that you're looking in your classes folder for all of your materials. Now that we created our classes folder, we're going to move my math class. You click, you can click. Uh, so you have to click, hold, and drag. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I moved that actually. Did I? Yeah, I already moved it in there. So you're going to click, hold, and drag it and put it right on top of classes. And what happens is uh, you'll see that classes right now is going to turn into this darker shade of blue. And you're going to drop this reading class into classes. And it's going to disappear. You do that again. So you click on science. You're going to click and drag, hold it right on top of classes. And now you're, it's going to drop into classes. So we have allergies, class roster. And all of a sudden, if I double click in here, I now have my three classes that I'm teaching math, reading, science. And I believe in here, I'm also teaching history. So we'll make another class. We'll call it history. Okay. So right here at the top, you have all of your files here. You have your subfolders, probably some unorganized things here. 
We're going to go into our 2023-2024. You have allergies, class roster, classes. You have a lot of information in here. Okay. Uh, these are files that I created for this specific um, tutorial. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of my files. How do I highlight all of my files? We'll click on the top file. Press and hold the shift button on your computer. Do not let it go. So press and hold the shift button. And now you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of your page. And you're going to click on the last one. That should highlight everything in your, um, in your Google Drive right now. You can let go of the shift button. And now you're just going to click on the first one and drag it all the way to, to the 2023-2024. So you see how it pulled all the documents and we're going to put it in here, 2023, 2024, let it go, drop it, give it a hot second for it to load. And then all of those documents should go into 2023, 2024. Now, depending on your computer speed, internet speed and everything else, it may take a little bit longer. It may take a little bit less. If something does go wrong, all you got to do is refresh the page and it should reload for you. Okay. So now that we have all of our files that we need in our 2023-2024 file folder let's try to organize some of these things so I have an allergy list of students so I'm gonna click on this document hold it and then drag it to allergies so we go here we're gonna drag it right into allergies okay now I have this assignment animal eyes let's see what this is this looks like it is a reading assignment from reading A to Z I'm gonna drag and drop this into classes so now I have another assignment here, and sometimes this happens. It's just a bunch of gibberish. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Let's double click. Let's open it. It looks like this is a diagnostic for iReady. So I don't have anything like that. So let's create a folder, and I'm going to call this iReady Diagnostics. Okay, so I have my iReady Diagnostics, but before I drag this in here and put it in there, I want to give this a new name. I don't, I mean, I got no idea what this is. So to rename a document, you're going to right click or control click on the document and we're going to rename it. And we can just probably put the name of the student. It was blocked out your name and we'll put diagnostic. I believe it was the third one. Okay, so now that we have it, notice that it moved it from over here to somewhere else. Let's find that document. Let's see where it's at. We call it your name. Why, why, why? There it is. So here it is. Your name, diagnostic three. I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to drag it to the top. And here we go. I'm going to drop it right into your iReady diagnostics. And it disappeared. Okay, let's see what else we got next. Uh, these are math assignments. I know because I created these ones. Um, so let's put this into our math class so we're going to click remember click on the first one press shift press on the last one so now we have all three of these math assignments highlighted and where should we drop these we should drop these into classes into our math class so I'm going to click hold and drag put it into classes they'll disappear now let's go into our classes section so let's see I have analyzed remember this was a reading assignment so I'm going to click drag and hold bring it into reading now I'm going to click on these three assignments and I'm going to click, drag and hold and bring them into math. There we go. So now I've organized my assignments in my math class. I've organized my assignments in my reading class. I'm going to go back to 2023, 2004. Now this is a, an assignment that I created. It's called a check-in. So I have my students do this as bell work in the morning. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it bell work. There's my bell works. So I'm going to take my check-in and my check-in responses. I'm going to click, drag, and hold and bring it into bell work. There we go. Uh, let's see. Now these are some assignments I created for students. Classify objects by two-dimensional shapes. Let's see what I created here. Looks like this is a math assignment. Okay. So now that I know that this is a math assignment, let's drag it into the math folder. So we're going to click, drag, and hold. Uh, now you can do this click drag and hold bring it into classes or on the left hand side here You see you got these tabs if you click on my drive Click on 2023 2024 it breaks down your folders and we're going to go to classes And I want to drag it right into math So I'm going to do I'm gonna click drag and hold I'm gonna bring it right here notice how math 
uh, is now highlighted and it automatically drags it to this specific folder so now this is an art lesson that I created so let's go to classes let's create a new folder we'll call it art alright there we go so right here at the top we can go back to our subfolders we can go back to 2023 2024 or in the left hand side here you can actually click on your top folder right here 2023 24 and it will bring you back so let's drag and drop this specific assignment into our, our our art class so let's do that one more time so in the left hand side you have drive let's click on drive we have our folder 2023 2024 let's click down then we have our classes we're gonna click down right here and we're gonna drag this art lesson oops we're gonna click and drag this art lesson and drop it into our art class grade 3 plant parts I believe this is a science homework assignment so let's click and drag this into our science class I'm gonna do this one more time on the left hand side so you guys can see how easy it is okay so you're gonna click on your drive so if you click specifically on your drive, it brings you all the way back. Notice it's got this little arrow over here. So let's go back here. We're going to click on the little arrow. It's going to bring down the drop down. Click on the arrow again. We're looking for our classes because we're looking for science class. There's our science class. So we're going to click, drag, and hold it and bring it over to science class. So we're organizing our information. Math review, coin edition. This is um, a math assignment. So I'm going to click, drag. So let's do it the old way. If you don't want to do it over here on the left hand side, you can click on this math assignment, drag it to your math classes. All right, so now it brings it in here. Double click in here. We have this assignment, so we have to organize it again. We're going to click and drag it and bring it into our math class. Okay, let's organize everything crayons, close, read, pass. So this is an ELA assignment. The CLA assignment students are supposed to read, highlight, um, I understand, uh, highlight, make squares around certain things, um, fill out information, you know, things to that extent. So it's an ELA assignment. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to um, our classes, and it was reading, I believe. Yes, it was. Okay, here's telling time. This is a math assignment. So we're going to drag and drop this into our math class. Reading a map. This is a history assignment. So we're going to click, drag, and bring this into history. Notice once you start having your specific folders, it's very easy to start organizing your information. And I'll give you guys an example of why it's so important to organize your information like this way. All right, reading fantasy illustrations. I believe this is a. ELA reading assignment. This is another one that I created. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into reading. It's going to be right here. Reading sight words. Let's see what is this. Okay. Okay. I got it. This was um, an assignment for first grade. Let's do this. Let's bring this to reading. Short vowel digital task cards is another reading assignment. Colors, we'll call this science, and then the responses for science. So we've not organized our Google Drive according based to folders and subfolders. So if I ever needed to come back and he was like, you know, I'm on my phone, we're on a field trip somewhere, and I was like, I don't know if this student has allergies, I forgot, let me just double check. Very easy to just come back to your Google Drive. What am I looking for? I'm looking for allergies. So all my information should be in allergies. There we go. Uh, class roster. I need a list of all my students' names uh, in my class roster. I can also make um, you know parent emails, parent contacts, any type of information you want to collect on the students. Uh, your homework assignments. They're all you know laid out, fully organized in their specific um, folders. So it's very it's very easy or sorry it's very hard to reorganize afterwards but once you start getting into your organization and you start keeping track of everything it's very easy to make sure that everything is organized in your Google class and sorry in your Google Drive okay if you have any questions please check out some of my other tutorials have a wonderful day